Hello. Basta. Yeah. <laughs> Thank He's you. doing the bingo for us. Am I? <laughs> I didn't know there was bingo. What's the prize? Oh, there's always no. bingo. Oh, there is now. Oh. Well, let's go. Seven. <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> I won. What do I get? Uh, you get a, a nice smooch. A nice, yeah, nice oh, smooch, cheers, and look. a rub of the shoulders. Oh, and I a lifetime with us, you lucky thing. Oh, flipping heck! Well, we are lucky enough to have music and uh, and comedy is happening in this little tape room here today. You're about to do music and comedy at Rough Trade in Brooklyn tonight, so uh, people lucky enough. I to... don't think it's advertised as music and comedy. I think it's. <laughs> Just comedy. <laughs> oh wait, no, the other one, the music. <laughs> You're musicking. The We're musicking. <laughs> yes. So con congratulations to you guys for doing. Uh, the, it's been ten years. You've got the uh, the uh, ten year anniversary of a balloon called Moaning is now, and you put out a double record to uh, to celebrate that. Um, one in um, English and the other one not. And uh, congratulations on that. That Thank exists you. in the world right now. And you're going to play, um, I think, I forget what you said. Are you going to play all songs from that? Or are you going to play stuff from, uh, I think maybe there's a Christmas song gonna, too. We're going to just make it up as we go along today. I Outstanding. Think we'll be a bit loose with it. But um, we're going to start off with um, one of the Welsh tracks off the new uh, Blink or Morning re release, a Golai Muyav Urkus God Muyav, which translates. Kind of roughly, a little bit of poetic license in the title, mm -hmm. but uh, the greatest light is the greatest shade. So we can give you some of that if you're ready for it. I am all set. All right. All right. All right. <laughs>
you. Do you all come out and well, that <laughs> sounds great. Thank you for doing this. This is our last session of the week, so thank you for sending us into the weekend uh, the right way. We appreciate it very much. And uh, can we talk about the production of the album? So the the first time around, 10 years ago, A Balloon Called Moaning was you guys recorded in a pretty simple, straightforward home studio kind of a way. Can you talk about that process and then also tell, I don't know anything about how the well, the acoustic Welsh language album was recorded. Can you talk about the, uh, the production process of that one as well? Of course. Well, I guess um, the thing with the first EP, the 2009 version, was um, I suppose it marks like it's kind of us, I suppose, getting used to writing together because we'd been in like one band just before this EP um, and just the dynamic was off. It just didn't feel kind of good, did it? And so we kind of escaped from Manchester and um, kind of tucked ourselves away in North Wales and started writing together for the first, first time. And a, a big part of that was kind of kind of figuring out, like, sonically how we wanted, you know, the band to sound, what it was that kind of excited us um, musically, production-wise, lyrically. Um, and I, th I kind of feel like uh, this first EP, um, we'd done a little bit of our, you know... Um, experimentation behind the scenes before we shared it with the world but I still kind of feel like uh, this very first EP um, has all those little kind of um, to me looking back I can kind of hear us experimenting with all the kind of signatures that later kind of have built through this band with the ambience and the really driving melodic bass lines lots of single note guitars it's quite charmingly noisy in places it's quite dense in other places there's a lot of layers there's a lot kind of going on but um we were getting used to using the computer as a tool as well and patching things together um really uh butting heads over a lot a lot of <laughs> things as well which is fine because we eventually got into a rhythm like we'd been in a band before but i think as two equal songwriters this was the first time so you know you do a bit of that and eventually you get to a place so there was that along with using uh, the computer. It was just a really interesting thing. And like you say, maybe there's some quirks and slightly naive element to it. And there's a lot of like drum samples on it, hardly any real drums, you know, but that's the tools we had at the time. And mm -hmm. then obviously we... Uh, got a new Matty tool. A bit. <laughs> 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 that's we one way a, of saying it. An even better tool <laughs> yeah. six months later. Yeah. We got a massive tool. A good six foot tool. <laughs> Bought it all just what life, you want. You know. Right. Yeah. And I suppose um, the the uh, the newer version, the Welsh version, mm -hmm. um, we were just kind of we wanted to do something to kind of celebrate the fact that we were ten years together, and um, wondering you know we've been talking for quite a long time. It's uh, the Welsh language is Mr. Davis's first language. It's my second, mm. so we've been talking for a little while about doing a a longer length kind of Welsh body of work, and we thought, well, fuck it, we might as well like. You know, well, combine like that idea yeah. with mm. the anniversary. But, um, and we've been doing some acoustic tours as well. It felt totally. like it all came together timing wise. We'd really enjoyed that. We just finished an acoustic tour. Didn't we, we had, yeah. So. But, you know, I think maybe we underestimated the translation process. I think maybe like next time round, if we get the urge to do another secondary language yeah. album, I think maybe we'll just do it from scratch because I think translating things like. You know, like poetry and or, and whatever it is that you're trying to translate, it um, can take a bit of grappling with, because especially the Welsh language, it's very syllabic. Um, it's quite uh, guttural in places. It's a very beautiful language, but sometimes there's a lot of syllables to try and a lot of words well, shove so. into <laughs> like a phrase of music. So yeah, to condense um, it uh, yeah. in an aesthetic way. Yeah, it was a nice challenge, though. Really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to seeing how uh, YouTube's closed captioning sees it when we tell it that it's Welsh. <laughs> we'll see how yeah. close they get. <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh, Ooh, we'll we'll have to look at that. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, man, we it sounds great. We've got a lot more music coming up right now, and you've got a lot more music. And the the whole the whole tool bag is headed over to, to Rough Trade later on this evening. Um, but <laughs> hey, don't cut me the tool bag. <laughs> <laughs> Just my. <laughs> hey, your tool bag. Uh, that's um, funny. <laughs> Can you, uh, can you tell us what is coming up second today? Yeah, totally. Well, should we try a little bit of our Christmas song? You've got me Christmas jumper on already, yeah. All right. Um, Watch that jumper. I know. I guess this is a song that predates even the first EP. I think this is kind of like, kind of late 2008. 
something like this. Yeah. I don't know why we decided to start off with a Christmas song, because, like, well, it's not a particularly festive Christmas song, you know. Um, don't expect to have the cockles of your heart warmed by this one. It's... Um, <laughs> I, uh, I was going through a big Charles Bukowski period. Nice. Um, so, you know. Wait, I have Bukowski here and I would like you to have it. It's like there's no tomorrow or there's there's a book that I brought here for the really? express purpose of giving it to people and I would oh, like you to have it. That's really lovely. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, if you need some darkness and just pitch black humor yeah. in your life. Yeah, definitely don't need much me. more, but I'll yeah. always take a little bit more. Yeah. more. We're, we're just so happy <laughs> we cynicism. have to level it out sometimes. <laughs> when, you know. Oh, you reckon? <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is just good acting, baby. That's it, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Behind the smile. So this is pure darkness. This is um, my beer drunk soul is sadder than a hundred dead Christmas trees. Merry Christmas, everybody. (laughs) Almost. Pink. Yeah. Oh, that was a really. Michael, uh, dinner's done. Give me, give me some more. (laughs) One, two, three. Nice accords to finish on. It's gotta be that. No. <laughs> I like this one. It's sad. Yeah. It's a happy ending. Yeah. Okay. Christmas. Well, Merry Christmas. 
Yeah, Christmas is bad. truly Go here. Fuck yourself for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you. This sounds awesome. Um, you are welcome to, I think, I know you guys have something to do later on tonight, but you are, if you want to, welcome to just hang and play and uh, tell jokes literally all afternoon. We don't have a 4.30 session, so if you want to stick around, you're welcome to do that. Uh, um, we, I would like to talk about, you got a little bit of the spiel about what this room is and what yeah. those tapes all are uh, behind you. And this is rock and roll and country and jazz history going back all the way to 1953. I'm just sitting in front of, a, you know, Tom Petty and John Coltrane and Carlos Santana and Dire Amazing. Straits. Um, yeah, well, uh, can we, so this room tends to be a fairly easy place to talk about musical influences. Can you mm -hmm. talk about some of the bands that like in the early years when you're getting together and writing these songs, who were some of the artists that you agreed on and sort of, I don't know, maybe gave you a, like a shared musical vocabulary maybe? Oh, well, that's a good question. <coughs> I mean, we, we love me. all kinds of music, definitely not stuck in any genre. I think uh, as long as something has, um, a unique quality to it, like um, something that's really grappling on finding what the inner voice is as opposed to trying to fit in. I think they usually tend to resonate with us. But um, yeah, we, we come from quite different backgrounds, I suppose, very early on. Um, would you say that you come from a very lyrical, um, the craft of songwriting mm -hmm. um, yeah. background? Yeah, like... Uh, Sean Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Like um, your Dylans, your Springsteens, Leonard Cohen, um, uh, Elvis Costello, Elvis Costello um, Van Morrison. Um, and my favourite album is Astral Week. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, you know, like, I think um, definitely that um, merged with, I mean, I don't want to, no, I'm not going to say what yours are. I mean, I can kind of guess. I think yours had a little bit of a heavier aesthetic. Well, growing up, uh, I was very much... Hendrix. Um, it, well, Hendrix here was what yeah. got me into music. Um, I still absolutely love him. But um, I think the visceral element of uh, rock music is what really got to me. as a, uh, And then um, after that, um, I became a lot more kind of lyrically, uh, you know, inclined or whatever. But the actual musical mm -hmm. element of, uh, you know, when it's a great rock band, you know, that's that was really, really exciting to me. Mm -hmm. um, what about you, Matty? <coughs> well, we, oh, uh, kinds of junk, fire, innit? In it? Oh, kinds away. of junk. <laughs> well, I mean, you're a massive Zappa fan, which is yeah. fantastic, yeah. isn't it? Um, Fu mostly fusion, I guess, is my my background, mm. like jazz fusion, and then that's so drummer cliched. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> Well, yeah, there's all sorts of people. I'm sitting great. right in front of a Jocko and uh, Weather Report tape. It's one one oh, of those really? right over your shoulder. Oh, oh. Amazing. I'm, I know I'm sat right next to Madness, which is quite fitting. <laughs> um. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a fantastic room. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Like, well, you're you're oh, welcome to hang with Herbie Hancock. Oh, cool. Dude, we've got there's a gold record for her for Future Shock in that bathroom right there. You got to check it out after, oh. right after the session. It's in the bathroom. Those it's right over the toilet. Yeah, oh, amazing. they're like something like a landmine or something. Yeah, right? <laughs> the ones the the yeah. The I mean, Indiana Jones things. brought those here. Yeah. Actually, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's that's Carlos Santana's yeah. 1973 t uh, South American tour documentary. So oh. the the bigger box has three 35 millimeter reels in it, and the the skinnier one's got two reels in it. And uh, that is all on the internet. We've transferred all this stuff. I want to show it to you. It's it's oh, a, all Spanish language South American tour. It's a great documentary. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Fabulous. Oh, yeah. there's Van Morrison hiding on the end there. I know. Yeah. Right? Bottom line, 1978. The bottom line, in yeah. fact, the the original Woodstock documentary that was a big part of me getting into music in the first place. Santana was part of that. Those some of those yeah. performances in that first Woodstock was amazing. a little bit yeah. too much acid right beforehand, but it ended up being, <laughs> uh, being a, <laughs> just the right amount of acid actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Well, thank you all for coming here and doing this. And we've got one more one more song today. Can you tell us what you're going to do last today? I don't think we've decided. Do we Perfect. know? Do we know what we're doing? Do you fancy? Last? Do you want to do a bit of something funky, or do you want to do another? Santa's had the soup. No, we're. That's way too funky. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah. a steaming brown one. Oh, yeah. 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 We're it's saving our those next ones. Christmas song, that is. <laughs> <laughs> San we're going to see Santa's have the soup. Okay, yeah, let's try uh, caught on <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's try that. We haven't, we haven't on, done this finishing. in a while, so uh, yeah, you're probably going to just step into a rehearsal right here. Uh, but, uh, I don't think we've a... ever played this acoustically on a session. Not on a session. We've only played no, it in so... my garage. Uh oh. 
There we go. No, we were doing it on our acoustic tour, but that, uh, yeah, it's been a while now. So this is a uh, caught I, on a breeze. Yeah.
for doing this it's been a total pleasure on our side and best of luck on the uh the 10th anniversary party album there's uh um it has it's been 10 years since the debut and a balloon called moaning is out in a double album version english language and a welsh language so best of luck on it and uh, have a great show at rough trade tonight great show at the hollow in albany tomorrow night Uh, there are a number of shows across canada the midwest and the west coast that all wraps up at the terragram ballroom in la on December 21st, and uh, it's all up at thejoyformidable.com. So please travel safely between all those dates and come back and visit us anytime. And uh, we'll look at tapes and hang out and do comedy and awesome. talk <laughs> about wait. tools. Thank you. Lovely. Thank right. you for having us. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah.